Good afternoon, Lisa. Good afternoon, Andrew. And I'm putting my presser in my breast pocket. Okay. So if I lose it, you have to shout it's in your pocket, all right? Okay, or I could just get it out. You I'm could. not going to shout it. I'm not in a pantomime. Right, right, finally, we return to Blake's Seven. Yes. Uh, what, what was the last one we did? Rocks, wasn't Postage. it? Hostage. That's it, rocks. And finally, Neri mm. Nation's back, isn't yes. he? Um, so it's an all action packed mm -hmm. thing mm -hmm. where you can play Terry Nation bingo, can't you? Like all your standard yeah, yeah. Terry Nation mm -hmm. yeah. plot things. So mm -hmm. we start off Kablooey, mm -hmm. Smoke, Gunshots, Bash Street Kids. Because right. there's this big fight between some guards and some other people. Yeah. And there's so much smoke. I just imagine a big round ball of smoke with like fists and things coming okay. out of it. Yeah. Like in the Bash Street Kids right, or okay. something like that. Mm -hmm. And I just put fighting men. Mm -hmm. Smack. <laughs> there's one gets a bit of a smack. And in a control room, mm -hmm. not a million miles away from the fighting, mm -hmm. are poor Shelley and chums. Yes. Or, or poor Shelley and friends, because that could be the... the the name of his showy hosts. Paul Shelley and Friends. Yeah, where, where okay. he like sort of sings around a piano or something. Okay. Um, but they've got another of these Federation video monitors that show film. If you oh, look right, closely, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> given that the fight scene's happening yeah. on film. Be clever that. Um, in the fight scene, uh, the ceiling starts falling in. There's general mayhem, mm -hmm. more fighting, and Paul Shelley and friends listen on their big boxy communicators, mm -hmm. which are like the size of like huge Swan Vesta matchboxes. If you drop one of those on your toe, you'd know about it. You would, yeah. Why haven't they got little sleek things? Because nobody's got little sleek things in this yeah. day and age. But apparently, the Albions have broken through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Um, Hopefully the guards will make a stand. Mm. Um, in the background, you can notice some of the panels from the Keller machine. Yes. So it's still getting good service all it these is. years later. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I did spot the panel from the Keller machine in uh, an episode of The Muppets in um, Dr. Bunsen Honeydew's lab. All oh, right. Okay. Gosh. So so it does get about at this point. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, blind patriotism won't get them very far. More mm -hmm. explosions. Poor Shelley gets some dust in his hair yeah. as he goes and sort of walks towards the camera and a load of dust falls out of the ceiling. Yes. Um, and I think I said he needs some, like, Timote or something, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, get, he gets some nice yeah. floofy hair because it'll be all worn and sort of smammed down and he won't look smart for a guard. Um, but there's a 93% chance the Albions will overwhelm their defences. Mm -hmm. So we must activate. So first of all, he locks the door. <laughs> And this, whatever they do, will mean the death of millions. Yes. And they go and get two silver tubes mm -hmm. and, put, and put them in some holes, don't they? They do. Um, but they're stood upright, aren't they? Yes. They're not, they're not in the... They don't, they don't disappear down the holes. Um, but Paul Shelley said to one of his friends, um, give me four minutes, because we're going to go, and mm -hmm. then you, you press the button. Yeah. basically and then you've got to get out as best you can or something mm -hmm. I don't know quite considering what we know I don't think he's going to get out the other one even if he no you know and more more fighting and there's mm -hmm. an, and I've sort of described this as like silent movie fighting is yeah. it's all sort of it's all very stylized isn't it yeah. you know it's, yeah. um because I think there are two stunt people credited on yeah, this it's one. Peter Braham yeah. and, and another else. and there's some arm pulling Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull your arm and I just put Yaru! Mm -hmm. and, you know, it's, all, it's all that. Um, but uh, Paul Shelley and his chums go into some tunnels which are hidden. Well, th one chum. Well, one chum, which has got us. Uh, they have to go through a secret door, don't mm -hmm. they? Um, but the ceiling sort of starts to collapse and yeah. his, his mate he dies, doesn't he? He does. He, um, and then, then there's some tapping on the door from outside. It's like really weedy because mm. they're trying to break it down with their guns, the rebels, mm. and all they're doing is sort of tap, tap. <laughs> well, if they hit it too hard, maybe it would break or something. Well, yeah, let us in, let us in. Um, yeah, so um, eventually they, they, the door blows and um, the, the one that's... Stayed behind, mm. gets all bloodied, doesn't he? They shoot him, don't yeah, they? So, well, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. But with one last gasp effort, he <laughs> he reaches his finger up and, and presses he presses the button, the button and uh -huh. the silver things fall down. 
and a, an, an LED green indicator mm-hmm. like I used to have on my calculator around this time because so I got a calculator for Christmas and it had a green LED display it was a Casio FX39 okay. and we still got it knocking around somewhere okay. except it drains the batteries so yeah mm-hmm. um, anyway it comes up 999 and, they, and um, in comes Duggan mm-hmm. well, well in comes the people and then they take yeah. their Sort of, they've got like their balaclavas on. off, yeah. and one of them's Tom Chadbourne, isn't yes. it? Play- this is before he was Duggan, isn't it? Yeah, playing so. gr- playing Grant. We find mm-hmm. out later, Grant's not his first name; no. it's his second name. No, he's called Del. Del Grant, short for Derek. Yes, yeah. first first Terry Nationism. Yeah, and um, yeah, so it says nine nine nine, and I have to ask. Mm. Um, how many seconds does it take for each number to change? It's more than one second, it is, but it's yeah. not five. No. But they say they've got less than an hour to solve their countdown conundrum. Mhm. Do 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 do. But if it's counting down one per second. Yeah. Right. At sixty would be one minute. So mm-hmm. six hundred would be ten minutes. Mhm. So twelve hundred would be twenty minutes. Mhm. But it's more than like. It takes longer than a second. I think it takes yeah. about two and a half seconds to yeah. change. Yeah. Um, and it, well, I suppose that is less than an hour. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. I, anyway. I don't think you should worry too much about that aspect of the story. Yeah. And okay. Um, so, yeah, they they've got something to worry about basically. Mm-hmm. So on on the Liberator, I, I thought for a minute I'd written Liberarchy. Okay. <laughs> on the Liberarchy, we'll call it that from <laughs> now on. Um, Avon's got the readouts, but you can get ointment for that. Mm-hmm. And the, the readouts of the planet, I'm I'm thinking somebody's got terribly confused here because mm-hmm. it, it's it's fairly all right around the around the equator. Yeah. But at the poles, it's close to absolute zero. Mm-hmm. No, it is not. <laughs> no way. No. No. I'm not having that. Absolute zero is minus 273 centigrade. Right. You don't get absolute zero except in the bloody depths of... Well, you don't even get it in the depths of space. Even that's a right. degree or so above. I, I guess it just... Tonation thought I it think they good. mean zero degrees Celsius. Mm-hmm. But somebody's just got confused between Celsius and Kelvin. Well, it sounds good, though, doesn't it? Absolute zero. Yeah, but you, and, and perhaps if you like went there, you'd chatter. And how many people would actually realise? Me, realize, well, me. Apart from you. Absolute zero. And, 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 that means they've got no atmosphere. Okay. Like the, if you okay, did, move on. Uh, cross. Gam cross. <laughs> move on. Um, but. Um, uh, the, the Liberator, uh, or rather Blake, is after Provine. Mm-hmm. Right? Major Provine. Not, he's not like after Henry or no. something. Ah. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, Space Major Provine. Space Provine. Major Provine. Who, and this is a milk joke. Mm. Before he became Provine, he was an amateur vine. Oh, ah. God. But apparently he might know where central control is. Mm-hmm. I don't know why he'd know. Yeah. Did he work there? Oh, he worked there. So I suppose he used to know where he went to work. Mm. Where he'd like to go on the bus each morning. Why doesn't just Blake look at the space bus route? You know, go down and, and get, ask. Let's, All right. let's There's see. a signal from Albion, a call for assistance, mm-hmm. says Callie. G- getting one of her few lines. Yeah, they don't get much to do, the girls, this, this week. week. No. 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 Villa, get your gear on. Mm. And I imagine he's got fab gear to put on, but yeah. Um, so Duggan's mates don't know what to do, mm-hmm. but they say they have nothing to lose, the, the painter. Um, so they're going to try and break the circuits of the, mm-hmm. of, the, of the thing. And one of Duggan's mates gets his tool out and immediately drops it in the, yeah. in the gubbins, doesn't he? Yeah. And hooks out a wire and snap, no, snip, zap. He gets a little zap for his trouble. Happens. And it sticks at 722. And they go, mm. hurrah, that's the episode finished. So that's it. Except it's it goes not. to 721. Yeah. And they haven't stopped it. They've only hiccuped it. Yes. Slowed it down slightly. It should have gone <laughs> at that point. <laughs> it should have done a special effect. Um, but where's Provine? 
is is the, is the question. Well, what he's doing, he, he's ear wigging because mm. they've taken some prisoners. Mm-hmm. But he, he's got his, his ear up to the secret door, having yes. to listen. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, he's the only one who knows the complete system, apparently. So they yes. need to find him. Uh-huh. So what if he was on holiday? You know, if, what if he'd gone down to like Skegness for a week or something? You know, Albion Skegness, making sandcastles out of like um, sort of liquid helium or something like that. In the, the absolute zero. Um, so the bloke hasn't got the tools, apparently. No. <laughs> I'm still cross about that. I guess that, yes. Um, so Provine nicks, nicks the uh, helmet off of his friend, doesn't mm-hmm. he? And, and does some sort of role play as a guard. He just likes it. Callie and Jenna, between them, are fiddling with the teleport. Yes. By wiggling the sort of light about and putting mm-hmm. a bit of tracing paper over it with a mm-hmm. map. <laughs> That's really quite poor. Uh, Blake, Avon and Villa are going to go down, though Villa wants to be unwanted. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah, on film, um, they, they go, and apparently the guards were members of the Space Assault Force, mm-hmm. who were crack troops. And I thought, blimey, how bad are the normal <laughs> ones then? <laughs> so quite bad. I mean, they never really seem to actually hit anybody when yeah. they shoot them. That's the Space Assault Force, like, sort of mm. third division at best. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, they, they uh, um, sort of, Albions might be trigger happy. It would be stupid to be shot by your al- allies. Mm-hmm. So they go off and find themselves in a very red corridor, indeed, yes. don't they? It's very red. Yeah. It's, yeah, but the door is locked, but Villa opens it with his old magic, a bit of the mm-hmm. old <laughs> Villa tricks. Or the old ego, as Avon says. Um, and they find a rocket launch pad. Mm-hmm. With, a, with a rocket that's like that. Mm-mm. It's not like that, it's like that. Yeah, so is it actually going to... It's got to go... And then do that. Yeah. But there are some doors in the top. Mm-hmm. In the ceiling. In the ceiling. Mm-hmm. Um, which, yeah, Villa um, finds the controls for the for the slidey doors in the roof and he goes open <laughs> close <laughs> mm-hmm. and Blake's annoyed because it makes a noise mm-hmm. uh, in the control room Provine sneaks in mm-hmm. ding, 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 ding. he's yeah. in sneak mode now yeah. and he clonks the lady one doesn't he, he? Does. we haven't said about the lady one yeah. have we and he drags the lady into the tunnel mm-hmm. so more, we haven't had any lady dragging for a while have no. we in Blake no. said and then he shuts the door. He didn't drag her by her feet or anything, no. not like, like some people. No. So he's possibly slightly better. But, uh. And we're on 587 stroke 6, um, you know, already. And um, I couldn't help thinking of 42 yeah. at this point. Yeah. But yeah. this whole thing about there's always a Terry Nation, in a Terry Nation thing, there's always a countdown, isn't yes. there? Yes. But in this case, the countdown is the plot. Yes. So yeah. Um so yeah. Uh so yeah. Um Blake is is, is met by a man, mm-hmm. isn't he? Who who's uh, who says, Are you Blake? The no. Blake? No, he draws a gun on him and yeah. he says, Who are you? And Blake says, I'm Blake and yeah. then he says Oh the Blake. The Blake. Or yeah. a Blake. Um so they've been giving the Federation a lot of trouble. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they sort of mention the rocket, um, and this, this is one of the one of um, Duggan's friends is called Corder, isn't he? Mm, that's the man. That we haven't said it, we yeah. haven't said his name. He said, "Help us, come with me." Mm. Um, meanwhile, Provine goes and hides behind a, a bit of set in a in a sort of door with recess, which everyone can see yeah. if they just looked around a bit. Yeah, no proof. Proof yeah. vision again. But this device with the silver tubes and whatever mm-hmm. is going to let off solium radiation, mm-hmm. which is a sort of device which will wipe out the population but leave the buildings intact. Yes. Ding! Terry Nation mm-hmm. bingo. Okay. Cross that one off then. Mm-hmm. That's the Daleks, isn't it? Yeah. The neutron bomb. Um, so apparently the Federation were bleeding them dry on Albion. They were mm-hmm. slaves on their own planet. They tried to cede from the Federation. 
but they it was no good. They declared a state of emergency and martial law, but they only had less than a hundred troops because they had this thing, yeah, which was like um, hold, they were holding over their heads, weren't they? Mm-hmm. But they always thought they were bluffing, but clearly they weren't. Um, Avon points out that this thing that they they they've got is merely the sort of activator section. Mm-hmm. It's not the actual device, which could be ten thousand miles away. Yes. Uh, he better get his walking boots on then, hasn't he? <laughs> so 502, 501, 500. So we're already halfway through the episode, mm-hmm. apparently. Um, so they just put... There's a, there's a, one of the blokes is, is standing by the rocket ship mm. and somebody drops a clangor outside yes. as there's a bit of a noise. Mm-hmm. So he goes out and mm. then there's this ridiculous... Arg! Arrgh. Oof! Yes. <laughs> yes. They can't do a fight scene. Good. He just has to do it with his mouth, doesn't yes. he? Yeah. As though he's on audio. <laughs> but arg! It's, it's real sort of actors sort of yeah. like being attacked. Yeah. Noises. That was funny. So Pro, Provine goes in and mm. um, shuts the door, um, and he he goes to. Um, Do the launch bay doors, but they don't open. No. Do they? Because because no. it's bit the re- the relays have been smashed. Yes, somebody smashed. Says it. the man. Mm. Yes. The man appears. A, a man appears. I lose mm. track of who all these characters are. Yeah, I don't, I can't, they're I'm all sure. fairly sort of yeah, sure. I'm not sure in, that interchangeable. One asks. Yeah. Um, He's a new man, isn't he? Yeah, a new Maybe. man. <laughs> so deactivate mm. the device. I can't do that. It can't be stopped. I don't believe you. Mm. Um. But. He says, neither you nor I nor nobody knows how to turn off the thing, mm. basically. Um, so he says, um, re- if we repair the relays, we can open the doors and escape in the spaceship. Because mm-hmm. I'll budge up and let you in. I'll yeah. let you sit on my lap or something. Well, it's got to be big enough for at least two, because yeah. two of them were going there anyway. And we'll wait up in space till the radiation decays, then come back down and repopulate the planet. He doesn't mean the two of them no. will repopulate the No, he means the, the Federation are setting some more... Um... He's not that friendly. No, no. <laughs> But yeah, basically the de- the um, radiation decays within twenty four yeah. hours of the bomb going off. Doesn't but it? yeah, you could th- this this bloke could have an offer of power and position, but mm-hmm. given that all his family and friends will be dead, he's not keen. No, so stay here and die. Um, so Provine goes over to the door, mm-hmm. and there's three controls on the door, aren't there? And the top one opens the door. Yeah. Except he don't press the top one; he presses the bottom one, which is mm-hmm. I think purple. And the rocket motors start up. Now, come on. Something else which made me cross. That's a really bad way to design your door control. Yes. To include the rocket motors. Yes. Now, admittedly, you don't want the rocket motors over the other side of the room. No. Because if you press them, the rocket motors would would get you anyway. But imagine if, like, you went to open the door and you sneezed just at the wrong moment. (laughs) And you go, ah, shit, oh, shit, I've I've set the rocket off again. (laughs) <laughs> is that why there's all scorch marks on the door? Because mm. keep, people keep on like Sneezing. missing and yeah, okay. Uh, right, um, yeah. So then Provine starts taking his clothes off, doesn't he? Well, he no. starts to do a little bit of a strip. No, he's first of all the man. The other man's going to take him out, but he yeah. shoots him. Doesn't yeah, he? he shoots the man, and then yeah. he wants his clothes because yeah. he, he thinks he looks smarter or something. Well, he's not got. He, he hasn't got a Federation uniform. So well, he can, no, he, li- he likes his top. He can pretend so, to be a yeah. rebel instead. He's going to be a webo leader. Mm. Um, so, so there's a safe, isn't there, that Villa's mm-hmm. got to open. Mm-hmm. So he gets to play with that for a bit. Um, um, Grant is a hired professional mercenary, yeah. isn't he? We haven't actually said about when he comes back in because they oh. they say before this, the um, man says to Calder about how did he do this, and he said they hired a mercenary. Yeah, and he tells him his name, and Avon drops one of his well, tools. Yeah, I'm just going to say that. Ah. Yeah, sorry. I said um, they got a hi- hi- hired professional, Del Grant, mm-hmm. and I just put Avon reacts with surprise at the name because mm-hmm. he once knew a Del Grant. Mm-hmm. Um, and there are ma- matters that remain between them to be settled. Yes. My stomach was gurgling. <laughs> no, I can um, hear. If we ever meet again, he'd kill me. Mm-hmm. So, bang! The safe sort of 
flies open, doesn't mm-hmm. it? And there are some codes in it, mm-hmm. um, which are like codes about where the thing is, aren't they? Mm-hmm. So Villa has to go up to the Liberator to give the data to Orak, and Orak's going to read through it and decode it and then mm-hmm. tell them where the thing is. We never even see Orak, do yeah. we? Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. I think Orak's on holiday, isn't it? Because actually, there's no Peter Tudnam at all, is there? Not in this one, no. No. No, no there's no Zen, there's no, no Orak, there's no nothing. No, it gets a week off. Alright, okay. Mm. Down the pub, I expect. So, yeah, um, Grant comes in. Uh, Hello, Avon, you alright? Because mm. they're best of chums, aren't they? No, they're not. Mm. I heard you were dead. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, they, we've got things to settle, but it's already down to 425. So, not now. So, no, not now. And then the secret door opens. Mm-hmm. And the lady falls backwards, mm-hmm. doesn't she? <laughs> yes. I knew I could get a Hancock's half hour in here at some point. Okay. Um, and they realise it's an escape tunnel. So Blake and Grant go in and then come out again, really, mm. don't they? Yeah, <laughs> go in, find the main body. After having come found out. the body and worked out that Space Major Provine is probably he's knocking around somewhere, isn't yes. he? It took him a while to work that out. Mm-hmm. But hey. Then for this scene, Blake basically recaps it, Provine's sort of. Mm. Events for the last twenty minutes, doesn't he? So, it was a bit of a spanning scene. Yes. It's like Blake just sort of spells out what happened in case you missed it. Um, but um, so yeah, Provine's wandering around. Oh, and there he is in his stolen mm. uniform. Um, so, whoops! Off he goes. Mm. Um, so Avon and Grant. Have a, have a conflam about mm. did, did they hurt her and this is about Anna mm. who Ava, well, you will find out more about next series yes, who yes. sort of Avon abandoned mm-hmm. and she got deaded by the Federation under torture yes um, and she believed in Avon but you killed her basically mm-hmm. so yeah um, Duggan's in a bit of a mood isn't he uh, but uh, they find the installation position Villa's sent down Mm-hmm. And apparently it's in the polar cap, four thousand miles away. Yes. So they're, they're going to have to put their their mittens on or something, <laughs> or take a hot water bottle if it really is absolute zero. Right, come on. Come on. on. So to teleport down, they'll need some thermal clothing. Mm-hmm. So that's the thing with the knob on again. Yes. So Avon and Grant are going to go because Grant knows the me- knows about mechanisms generally. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's lucky, isn't it? Mm-hmm. He was up all night studying mechanisms, I expect. I remember him spot, swatting for his mechanism exam the night before. Carry on. If they get to less than 50, they'll be on the on the clock. They'll be teleported out. Mm-hmm. Um, and if anything happens to Avon, uh, Blake will kill will kill Grant. Mm-hmm. No, I'll come looking, basically. And kill him. And kill him. So Grant and Avon go up mm-hmm. to, the li- to the Liberace, and they get some... Uh, some <laughs> Avon says he wants some high temperature Percivals. Lance. Lances, Please. sorry. <laughs> God, sorry. Oh, deary me. They, to be honest, there's some very thin material here for me this week, yes. so I had to do some awful jokes. Okay. Um, so, where's Provine? Still knocking around. Where are you going, soldier? says mm. one of the. Um, rebels. The Webos. Come with me. So, off he. Off he jogs with the rebels, so he's he's in with the rebels now. He's, mm-hmm. he's but he's, he's he's not on their side. So Avon shows Grant how to twist a knob, basically, doesn't mm-hmm. he? He says, "You twist this, and then you you'll be all toasty." Mm-hmm. <laughs> but he gets a gun, doesn't he? And mm-hmm. he gives he gives Grant a gun. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, so they go down to the polar cat where there is water ice floating in water. Mm-hmm. So it's not. If it was, yeah. it wouldn't be water. <sighs> so they teleport down into the into the where the room. where the room. <laughs> that's mm. what that's what things are called. Aren't they? No, where, where the um, where the bomb thing it's lives, hidden, yeah. where it lives, <laughs> <laughs> it does live there. And first of all, they have to look for the lights. Yeah, <laughs> like that. Where there is the light switch over here, and there are some heaters. Mm-hmm. wafting out warm air as well yeah. aren't they? but not too hot because there are icicles um, 
And they said if it was absolute zero, they'd need their heaters on more than two bars, wouldn't they? So um, you'd need it turned up. Um, so, yeah, where's the device? So they start looking behind the bins and things, don't yeah, they? Yeah. There's a load of like oil barrels and things. Mm -hmm. Is it behind there? No. Is it? Is it under the table? No. Is it up there on the shelf? No. It's like it's like really amateurish, isn't it? Yeah, like, yeah. You should have a detecting thing. You should well, have a bleepy yeah, thing. Chance to make a detector thing, isn't it? Yeah, you shouldn't just be looking under the like the, the litter bin or something in case somebody's like recycled it by accident. Um, well, they get. They should do what Gan did and call its name. You know, when he was calling oh, right. for, for yeah. Orac, yeah. It should, they should go, Device, where are you? Come out, come out, wherever you are. So, um, Avon finds a cable. Mm -hmm. it's, it's been laid. Mm. That's rude. <laughs> um, and he follows it. <laughs> and he follows it to a hatch. Grasping its straws. I am really grasping its straws. He lifts the hatch up and inside mm. is solid ice. Mm. So they have to get their pickaxe out. Yeah, which is never going to work, is it? Because it just chip. Goes, it goes... Chip. Chip. No, this isn't going to work. Chip. <laughs> Might take a while. <laughs> um, but the icicles start dripping because they yeah. turn the heating up. That'll be important. Um, Bla Blake sort of wanders about the rocket and goes to, goes to take a look, I think. I lose track of who's where at this point. Um, so how's Avon down and safe? Uh, everyone will stay behind to explode, though, basically, mm -hmm. won't they? Um, even though, like Ed Blake says, I I've got room for a couple of you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that. How many teleport bracelets have they got this well, week? Well, they can't take six million, is what he means. <laughs> six million. It well, might they, be a bit crowded. They haven't got six million. There's they. six million people on the planet. Well, not there. So either. what he means is he can't take a huge amount of people, but he could right. take a selected few. To so Avon and Grant then get their, their, their hot lances out, don't mm -hmm. they, and, and start burning through. Don't they have to wear some... Yeah, they've got sort of um, face masks, clear ones. And Grant says, there's mercury in it, be careful you'll trigger it. Mm. So mercury is more of a David Whittaker thing. Yeah, but, yeah. Him, him, so. but he's done it, and he starts to take, Avon starts to take it out. Mm -hmm. Bring the table over. Yeah. What a table is doing in this yeah, yeah. in this room? It's in there just to be bought over for Avon to put a thing on. <laughs> the fact that somebody had to sign off to leave a table behind. Yeah. That, right, we've installed a thing, but we better have a table just in case, in case you want to sit down and eat your fruit or something. You know, got to sit at a ta sit at the table and have your fruit. Yeah, right. you know. Now the roof starts to become unstable because mm -hmm. apparently the beam is cracked, mm -hmm. and all the ice was holding it in place. Right. And if the ice melts, it'll all fall in on them. Yeah. So this is like Terry Nation making it worse, mm -hmm. worse again. We're on two hundred and two. It's still ticking. Um, so, oops. So they they've got um, some cutter things to snip the mm -mm. thing and snip all the wires. Yeah. And the wires seem to be in a bo a big box that looks like Orax cousin. Yeah. Doesn't it? It's a big yeah, square box with a load of square box. things yeah. in it, and it's almost as though like Orax sort of playing this part. That's why you don't see him. Yeah, he, yeah. He's put a sort of a disguise on, like a, a, a tash and a hat, and, and sort of he, he's stuffed stomach up his jumper so he looks bigger. So, yeah. So, there's, there's all this silly stuff about, right, cut the middle one. Right, now cut the left one. No, no, no right, your left. The right one, he yeah, says. Yeah, cut the right one. No, 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 that's my right, because I'm, I'm stood the it's other side left. of you, but it's your left. Dearie me. Yeah. So rocks start falling. Yeah. Um, and meanwhile, they're looking through the personnel files and uh, and they recognise Provine, don't mm -hmm. they? Oh, he went with Blake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, in the rocket silo, they they are although Villa's useless at trying to find it, isn't he? Because he's yes. forgotten the way. Yes. And he gets told the way and he still gets lost. He does, he? he forgets what she says to him. So that, um, Avon and Brown have turned the heaters off and it's getting mm. nippy again. Mm -hmm. um, and they pull the thing out and then they have a load of blab about why did you leave her. Mm. Um, 
Avon was buying visas and the man increased the price and Avon was injured and unconscious after he shot the man or something mm. and, and then Avon and Grant sort of end up sort of holding hands in the box don't they yeah because you know, Terry wants to bring them closer together <laughs> um, but Anna's still dead because of you mm-hmm. um, so we're down 150 um, but they've still got a lot of work to do Villa gets lost uh, Blake and um, Provine are in the rocket silo mm. where Blake sees a naked man doesn't half he naked. And half naked well mm. you only see his top half but uh, Provine's got his trousers on, so... No, he's got his jacket on. He didn't put his trousers didn't on. Didn't he still no, his trousers? No, he still had his trousers on. Oh, he didn't have top. Okay. I wasn't looking at his trousers. Uh, Provine shoots at Blake. Mm-hmm. Then staggers out the door just in front of Villa and Collipses. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, sorry. Uh, uh, meanwhile, before this, Blake has like, had a bit of a fight with him, hasn't he? Yes. Uh, a bit of gun wrestling. Yeah. But, yeah. So Provine's... Dying. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's Provine, says Villa. Good job you found him in time. Mm. Uh, Blake says, Where's control? Go to hell, he goes for it. But eventually he starts spilling the beans. Mm-hmm. And he says about Star One and it's Dockerly. It's called Star One now. It's called Star One, so you've got to get the address right. Because yeah. mm-hmm. otherwise, like, if you write a letter there, it won't get there. Dockerly knows about it. Mm-hmm. And something about he's a cyber surgeon or something, yes. or a cyber surgeon. Only Dockerly knows, and then he's dead. Mm-hmm. So what they, what a- Avon and Grant have got is a, is a sort of black thing with th- three rods, yeah, with mm-hmm. tubes in, and the 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 plungers sort of fall down to complete the circuit, don't yeah. they? <laughs> I'm going to say something in a minute. Okay. Ask me how I would have done it. Okay, right. Well, now or? now at the mm-hmm. end, okay. so. Avon has to drill holes in it yeah. and stick little thin rods in because mm-hmm. when the plungers fall down, they'll hit the, hit they'll the, rod. Hit the thing. I won't connect. I won't, won't connect. You know what I would have done? What would you have done? Turn it upside down. Okay. Because then the plungers wouldn't fall. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but now he says it's got mercury in it, right. so if you turn it upside down, it will probably detonate. Yeah. But this whole this business about drilling holes to stop mm-hmm. the thing falling yeah. but if you turned it upside down it wouldn't fall would it no uh, but hopefully Terry Nation did think of that mm-hmm. um, there's no news from Avon they're down to 53 mm-hmm. um, and then they take their bracelets off because they're yes. being all brave well they? yeah because they've done yeah. most of it then and Grant's trapped isn't he Cause the then it falling, starts then. raining more bits fall Grant is out well, he's not out cold, but he's under a, a girder. Yeah. We're down to 39. Mm. It's no use, Avon. Um, I'm going to have to crawl all over you, says Avon, basically. Mm-hmm. So any excuse to get them all snuggled up together now, isn't it, really? Yeah. Uh, Callie's up, upsta- upstairs. Callie's on the Liberator, mm. and she's just tapping her hand. And that's the most exciting thing she's got to do, because yeah. uh, Callie... Uh, what's the other one? Jenna tells her to stop. Yes. Stop doing that. It's all I've got to do this week. Mm. Twenty-five. If the positions were re- reversed, Avon, I'd have, I'd have left you. Uh, where's the last rod? They d- got down to the last rod. Eleven. Mm. And it's stuck in a bit of rubble. Seven. Rock, isn't it? And it's stuck in a bit of rubble, and he pulls mm. out three, mm. and one, and he gets it in, and then it thuds, and phew, we done it with mm. like oh, zero seconds to spare. Mm. Why did you help me? Maybe because Anna was your sister. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what I was supposed to say then. Well, he said, it's only revealed at that point. Well, yeah, but yeah. surely it must be quite other. She's some sort of relation yeah, or something because yeah. of his intensity. Yeah. Uh, up on the Liberator. Mm. Bye, Jenna. Mm. Bye, Callie. Bye, Villa. Mm. Mm. It says... Uh, Tom Chabon, you're welcome to come with us. Mm. No, I want me money, basically. Yeah. He's going down yeah. for his cash. Does he get a big, like, little bag of swag, it says <laughs> on it, or something like that? Or just one with a big pound sign on it, like yeah, you used maybe. to get in cartoons. Um, so he shakes hands with Avon mm-hmm. and teleports down, and that's another teleport brace that they've lost forever. Yeah, yeah Avon could have teleported down with him and then No, he doesn't. Avon just wanders off. Yeah. 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 
So Blake and Avon sort of say, tell me about Anna. You wouldn't understand, says Avon. And <laughs> that's the end of the episode, really. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Yes, not bad. It's full of Terranation staples. Yeah, it does well, feel a... a bit stretched. Yeah. And there's not much that I'd recognise as sort of Chris Boucher dialogue in it no. either. It's all it's yeah. all a bit serious, really. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's why I've struggled a bit to, to come out with really bad jokes this okay. time. Because, mm-hmm. yeah, it did feel a little thin to me. Because, yeah. yeah, it really is the Terry Nation bingo episode. Mm-hmm. So. But, yeah, it's all right. It's okay. Yeah. Um, but I'm looking forward to the next one, oh, which gosh, will give yeah. me an opportunity to do some real overacting. Yes. Yeah. Mm. As it's voice from the past, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. So I'm going to have to maybe maybe make myself a little costume for oh, that. Oh, God, OK. Really? <laughs> I've got an idea and I'll discuss it with you later. OK. Don't know when we're going to do that. Mm. Where's, me, where's me presser? It's in your pocket. It's in your pocket. Can you get it out? My, my shirt's a bit tight. It's ridden up a bit, <laughs> isn't it? I'm not going to show you the rest of my shirt because it's embarrassing at the moment, isn't it? That's why I chose this camera angle. But we'll see you again at some point for Blake. We don't sort of do Blake every week, do we? Because unfortunately our show doesn't really matter. And we've also temporarily lost Series 3. Have we? Well, it's here somewhere. I'm just not quite sure where. Oh, blow me. See you again then for Voice from the Past. All right then. Bye. Bye.